Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today we're going to be doing that 4 out of 10 Garistas DED site I had been spending so much time to be able to get. So I'm in the system of Gekutami and we're going to go and attack that Garistas scout outpost. And I just noticed that the skilling spree actually is pretty high here. It's got a 10k SP reward. I'm always so used to getting the 2.5k SP reward, the lowest one. They seem to be the most common at least. So we'll get some nice SP from this DED site as well. And let's see now, where is... not here. In the agency. You can go here into exploration, escalations and warp to location. So I actually ran out of rage torpedoes while I was grinding the refuges yesterday. And I think that the javelins will anyway be better for the uh, the uh, Gristas 4 out of 10 because there are a lot of frigates there. And these seem to apply pretty a lot better to frigates. And as well as the increased range and in the Grista scout outpost, they're kind of a little bit scattered all over the place. So I can imagine if we're using rage, it'll take a bit more time. I'd have to take a little bit of time to get in range. However, I can see the rage being a lot better for the cruisers, but I don't have that right now. I all know, I think that it'll be all right. I don't think it's going to be any issues. Just you now we've got the, the javelin heavy assault missiles right here. We're still probably going to just thrash them really hard. All right, let's go. Activate all modules. The Drake should have no issue. And I really hope I get a C-type multi-spectrum shield hardener. Such a long time since I got one of those, actually, from doing this kind of high-sec exploration. It was a really long time. The last item I got that was really good was a B-type medium shield boost. That actually goes for quite a bit, actually. I think 300 million. That was around 5 out of 10, actually. Okay, let's just lock up frigates and start shooting. Now, I'll deploy my drones as well when I start shooting, just so that... they Because I know these guys can aggro your drones... So I don't want to get my drones in the crossfires here. I want to have everyone focus on me first. And then I want to go and deploy my drones. There we go. Easy peasy. And just lock up all these frigates. Shoot these. Shoot these. Mm -hmm. We'll make our way towards the gate. There's a gate there. So we'll do that. And now I think it's a good time to deploy our drones. So we'll just have them auto-aggress on their random things. There we go. Shoot this. It just feels these feel a lot better when it comes to the frigates and the rages. Even though they do a lot less DPS, but they apply a lot better. So they seem to be doing this a lot better than you know, I was doing the rages before. Spread these drones out a little bit. Or these missiles out a bit. And I just want to keep an eye on my drones. Because I know that they will sooner or later switch to my drones if they are alive for too long. It did happen. I remember in the Gila, I think. That some of the... These frigates, I think... A long time ago when I did this site in Nagila, some of the frigates switched to a drone and I didn't even notice. I just got wrecked. <laughs> so easy way is there's this actually there's this Grista scout officer. He can drop um, some overseer personal effects. It's hardly worth anything, but it's at least something. Let's see how this guy. Go to this guy. We'll start shooting this guy. MWD a tiny bit in range so we can just pick up the loot straight away. Okay, good, good, good. There we go, we got some overseer personal effects, and I think that you can actually, this ship does actually drop some better salvage than your average ships, like a tech 2 salvage, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, I don't have a salvage anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of cruisers right here, and these Pythum cruisers, I think it's especially the Pythum Infernos, they do like to kite actually. So I want to kill them fast, because I have actually done these this Gersta Scout outpost before, and... They were just, they, they were just kiting forever, and it was really, like I was taking too long, and then they managed to get away at like 50 kilometers. I had to get really close. Let's shoot these guys. Okay, let's make our way towards the, towards the acceleration gate. We're tanking so well. I don't even think we'll need to kill every single NPC in the next room because in the next room, there's this thing called a radiating telescope. It's a kind of you know base or it's a kind of space station that we need to destroy. And there drops the loot, and there's a bunch of NPCs that are actually guarding it, in fact. So you could actually destroy the NPCs, to because there's a lot of NPCs, to reduce the amount of you know, DPS on the field. But I think that our Drake will tank just fine, actually, even without the, without 
doing destroying a significant amount of NPCs. We can just go straight for the loot, actually. And have, maybe have our drones go for the NPCs. How far are we away? Okay, we need to get a little bit closer so we can just jump straight away when we get in range of the acceleration kit or when this guy is destroyed. Turn this. Reload everything. And then we can just jump like this. Good, good, good. So there's a communications network, it seems. So basically, this communications network is something that is used for reconnaissance. That is why we have to take them out, because we don't want the Garistas to be doing mischievous things in the systems of uh, the forge here. So we, that, that's the radiating telescope right here that we have to destroy. We can just get in range, and we can just start shooting stuff on the way. Let's so wait until I've got a bit of aggro, just because I don't want to have too much... I don't want to have... Uh, I would prefer to minimize the amount of aggro my drones get. I'm just gonna get in range and just wait until we have some aggro on us and then we can start deploying our drones on these small stuff. I'm not cap stable with my MWD on but I am cap stable without it on. So this... Uh, I can't just use this indefinitely. Shoot, have the drones now shoot the NPCs. It is really good. It's going to be very smoothly. I, I, if I, if I just get one of these crappy overseer personal effects like usual, where it's just nothing but overseer personal effects, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> uh, the la all the last like I think three or four scout outposts I've done have been like that, where it's just uh, overseer personal effects and nothing else. It's like the least amount of loot you can get. So you know how I got this overseer personal effects from that NPC before. This also drops the overseer personal effects. I think it's a bit better than that one. But then there's also the potential of getting the faction loot. But the last three or four of these guys that I've done have always been just overseer personal effects and nothing else. And you saw that the overseer personal effects is not worth a whole lot. I think this is worth a tiny bit more than the little one we got here, the seventh one, but it's still not a whole lot that can drop from here. Okay, let's just recall our drones. There's really no point. Just We're tanking so good. Look at that tank. Come on, please be something good. <laughs> okay, not really good. But I guess it's something. 9 million. We got some EM shield amplifying. That's the main that's the main loot we got here. So I'm going to go back to Jita now. And make my way towards the home of my ship hangar. And eventually then I'll refit and make my way to low sec for hunting clone soldiers. This kind of, this whole experience right here. It summarizes why I don't do a whole lot of this high sec exploration stuff, just because it's so often it feels like that it I just do so much work, scan so many signatures, I do so many anomalies, I get maybe one or two escalations after like many many hours, and those escalations anyway drop in barely nothing. It just is overall. Uh, most of my experience here is a very disappointing experience. There is the off time where I have been lucky, but almost all the time it's just been so disappointing you know spend so much time and get basically to nothing or hardly anything with it like we got nine million here we spent like four hours trying to get this escalation we got nine million like what what, what am i gonna do with nine million i may as well just do a couple of t0 abysses and i'll already have nine million within like maybe half an hour so why would i do that well you can always say that there's always a possibility of me getting a c time multi-spectrum shield hardener but it doesn't seem the rng was on my side there's just there's just so many rng factors involved I can imagine it's a lot better to do this in low sec as well. Or well, not low, necessarily low sec, but I mean the higher tier sites, like 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10, because the overseer personal effects you get from those, they actually, they're a lot more worth, they're a lot more, like 30 million or something like that. So, I mean, still, that is not a whole lot, but it's something. And even then, the sites you do, like the anomalies, to be able to get those escalations, they give, like, you will get a significant amount of bounty ticks because there are more battleships there. The bounty ticks I get from these refuges and dens is basically negligible. Like it's hardly anything because just cruisers and frigates. So cruisers and, fr and cruisers and frigates give basically nothing like, in terms of bounty ticks compared to battleships. So it really, I I don't. I mean I know it's really popular to do this high sec anomaly grinding and you know scanning down signatures, but it's not it's not the my most favorite activity. I did used to do it a lot, but. It stopped very quick after I found out about the Abyss because the Abyss at least gives something or it gives something and I know they'll give something in a certain amount of time. I mean, sometimes, you know, you can get from a bi-adaptive a couple of million, 
A couple of million is still better than just nine million in like four hours. It's it's uh, it is much better than that. Soon in Gita, I remember the system for one and it got ganked a whole. There was a lot of gankers in here yesterday actually. So I'm soon there, soon home, and I guess that's it. That's it for now. The Gristers four out of ten. A bit disappointing, Lou, and a lot of time you need to spend to be able to get this anomaly that or this escalation that in the end hardly gave anything. There was always that chance of it giving something really good, but the RNG was not on my side. So if I really wanted to do this again, I'll just go back to doing refuges. For now, I don't want to. I feel like just uh, throwing my computer out of the window when I just keep doing those anomalies and get no escalations. Hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.